Victor's power play shocks Nikki and Sharon and sparks a new war with Adam. Wednesday, August 31, 2023. Today on The Young and the Restless Victor asks Nick, Sharon, and Adam for their visions for Newman Media before rendering a stunning decision. At the ranch, Sharon, Nick, and Adam wonder why they've been summoned and bicker among themselves about Adam's failed power play. Adam's confident that he'll be put in charge of Newman Media, but he thinks today will be about Victor marking his territory and giving them a pep talk about being a team. Nick warns their dad usually does what you least expect. Victor appears and thanks them for coming. They sit and Victor reminds them he gave the three of them a chance to work together and they've made a mess of it. He's making some drastic changes. Nick blames Adam for making a power grab and resorting to blackmail. Adam was just staking a claim to what he felt was rightfully his. Sharon snarks and to hell with everybody else. Victor calls out their bickering and asks for their opinions of what this should look like. Nick wonders if it will make a difference. Victor shrugs. Victor wants their vision of the company. Adam imagines Victor announcing with great pride that he's appointing Adam as the new CEO of Newman Media, which will include the assets of McCall and Kirsten, and Sally will be his CEO. In Adam's vision, Victor also turfs Nate from Newman Enterprises and Victoria becomes his CEO as he takes back the reins of his company. Nick argues, but Victor says Adam's earned it. Sharon asks what it means for them. Victor says Sharon and Nick will report to Adam, who says they won't be happy there and offers to set Sharon up in her own therapy practice. She calls him self-serving and reminds him she brought him in. Nick says he's sure as hell not working for Adam, who calls his brother a plotter. Nick punches him after he sneers that nice guys finish last. Snapping out of his reverie, Adam tells Victor he was just thinking about his question. Victor turns his attention to Sharon, who reveals she has serious concerns about moving forward with him and Newman Media. The three of us do not work well together. She complains that Adam has done nothing but make her regret bringing him in. Adam argues it's just business. Sharon disagrees and lectures that he's made this much harder than it had to be. Sharon asks Victor what they're really doing there and if he really cares what she thinks. Victor wants some new perspectives. Nick snarks that he'll find out what they want and then not give it to them. Sharon imagines her vision, which includes Adam apologizing. apologizing for making a complete mess of everything. He acknowledges that she's one of the only people who's believed in him, and he's betrayed her by letting anger cloud his judgment. You all deserve better. She thanks Adam for acknowledging the truth. Sharon then imagines Adam apologizing to Nick for trying to grab power as though it was his right and telling Victor he's sorry for letting him down. In Sharon's vision, Adam asks to start over and they all agree. Back in the present, Nick asks Sharon what she's thinking. She says, I want out. Sharon doesn't trust Adam and isn't so sure she can trust Victor either. She'd like to take Kirsten and make something positive of it on her own. Victor never really wanted her company anyway and was going to strip it back. Victor isn't about charity, but business. Sharon says he's made her point for her. She's not interested and wants to take Kirsten and go her own way. Victor declares that Kirsten will stay under the purvy of his company. He offers to buy Sharon out, but she refuses. Nick argues with Victor, but Adam thinks buying Sharon out is a good move. Nick accuses his brother of kissing up to their dad. Sharon doesn't want to be bought out. Nick and Adam bicker some more. Sharon warns Victor she won't agree to their contract and won't roll over. Victor intones, I have made my decision. Sharon wants nothing to do with the Newman turf war. She'll get an attorney and fight for what is hers. With that, she walks out. Nick asks his father, what is the matter with you? Victor says it's business and asks, where do you see the company going from here? Nick imagines telling Adam and Victor the only thing he cares about is making sure Sharon gets what she wants out of this 
It's a waste of time to give his vision since Victor will do what he wants anyway. Nick tells Victor that Sharon's right. SNA will be just another cog in the machine. He's beginning to think he wants out too. This will never be one big happy family business. He wants Victor to give Kirsten back to Sharon. Victor says it ain't gonna happen. Nick asks his father, what do you want? What's the plan? Adam agrees that Victor should end the show and tell. Victor has Nikki join them and tells his sons hers is the opinion he values the most. He'd like to hear from her what she thinks about the two brothers working together. Nikki says they both caused their father pain and distress. She calls Adam one of the most ungrateful people she's ever known. He wears the chip on his shoulder like a badge. Grow the hell up, Adam. Nikki tells Nicholas that he always seems to have one foot out the door when it comes to the family. Don't leave us all hanging waiting for you to make a decision. Be committed to something. She tells Victor that he needs to deal with the family he's got. If he puts Adam in charge, then she'll be angrier with him than he's ever seen her. Adam always disappoints him, and that has to stop. Now, Victor does not intend to place Adam in a position of power. Adam snarks, I guess the golden boy wins again. Nick tells him to stop with the martyr routine. Victor announces that Nikki is going to run the company as CEO of Newman Media once McCall and Kirsten are folded in. Audra will be her CEO. Nick will go back to Newman Enterprises as Victoria's co-CEO. Adam smirks, once again, I'm left standing when the music stops. Adam should have known that Victor would pull something like this. Victor says he gave him a chance. Adam rants that he's so sorry to have offended him and claps for Victor humiliating him in front of an audience. Victor didn't intend for this to happen. Adam warns Victor he'll regret this. Victor warns him not to make idle threats. Adam promises they're real. He walks out, and Nikki tells her husband she could have run this by her first. Victor thought she'd be happy. Nick thinks it's the right thing to do. Nikki asks what about Victoria? Victor says her position is secure, for now. Nikki needs to think about this. Nick won't commit until he speaks to Victoria. He won't take a blind leap again. He hopes Nikki takes this opportunity and is proud of her. After Nick leaves, Nikki tells her husband she doesn't have an answer for him yet. She wishes Catherine were there to talk to and consult with. At Crimson Lights, Sharon leaves Michael a voicemail that she needs some help and it is in a conflict with Victor Newman. Nick walks in and asks if she'll really take this to court. Sharon won't back down. Nick says his dad is wrong to do this to her, but he's not budging. He reveals that Victor kicked Adam to the curb. He is out at Newman Media. At the ranch, Victor looks at Adam's photo and tears well up in his eyes. At home, Adam pours a drink in paces. He fumes, if you want a war, I'll give you a war. In his gym, Victor intones that no one defeats him and then takes out his pain and frustrations on the heavy bag. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.